Grandmons, it's Grammar14. Sorry again, I haven't posted a video in a long time. School isn't in the way. Finals are coming up. Not looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of been in the way, and then it was Christmas, and so I, yeah. Um, this is kind of a bit of a going to be a bit of a rambly video, but. The main point of it is going to be something I've wanted to talk about for a really long time. Um, so, first off, I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas or a Hanuk Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope it was good. I um, hope you got to spend lots of time with your families. And who cannot wait for 2016 to be over? Oh, I cannot wait. I'm so done with this year. I mean, come on, we just lost Carrie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds, who starred in, like, some of my favorite Halloween movies of all time. If you ever watched Halloween Town, your childhood was great. Um, so, yeah, that... I am so done for 2016 to be over. Um, just, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been a great year for me either. But yeah, so I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. Um, I'll show you some of the things I got for Christmas. I got these cool uh, wristbands. They're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm a huge fan of them. Huge, huge fan. Which is odd for how old I am. But huge, huge fan. Uh, my mom, my mom got me these. And my mom, I love my mom so much for this. She got me doing the stuff as book in real life. Which is awesome. I've wanted it for a long time. We couldn't afford it for the longest time. I didn't have the money. So, yeah. Thank you, Mom. I got this bookmark myself. Teach me Ninja Turtles. Uh, my grandma and my stepdad got me these amazing minion pajamas. I really, really like them. They're super comfortable. Uh, other than that, I kind of just got money. So, um... Yeah, I actually bought this with my money. It's a, they're like little candy pizzas. I'm not gonna open this because this is really hard to close. Um, but yeah, my Christmas was small, but it was fun. It was good Christmas. Um. Oh, that's what it was. There, were, I heard rustling. I didn't know what it was. One of the drawers was open, and the. The, the chair was hitting it. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I have to get back into video making. I am really sorry. I've had a lot of things going on. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Anyway, so, basically to the heart of the video that I want to make. Is to tell you guys that. I am bisexual, which if you don't know what that means, it means I like girls and I like boys. I'm sexually attracted to both. No, I can't choose one. No, I'm not confused. You know, I, I don't, I wouldn't choose one over the other. Okay, I can't. I like them both. You know, I'm not confused. It isn't a phase. I'm not gonna grow out of it. It's who I am. I remember when I was younger, there was a period of time where I really wasn't attracted to guys. But I found my, I consistently throughout my life, I found myself attracted to women. And when I was younger, and before I really understood the concept of being gay, it the thought of me being a lesbian, I didn't even know that. At, for a while, I didn't know there was a term for a gay woman. The, the thought of being gay scared me. I didn't want to be. Because I didn't understand it at the time. Um, but then, I think once I hit puberty, uh, I started to get into guys. Well, I take that back. For the longest time, I had one guy crush. I had, like, the hard a hardcore crush on that guy. 
But other than that, I really wasn't attracted to men. And, you know, I, there were times I voiced my concerns, and mom and grandma would be like, it's, it's human nature, it's okay, you can find women attractive and still, and not be gay, it's okay. You know, they were like totally supportive. Um, and then I started to really be, be attracted to men. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm fine, I'm straight. And then, I don't know, about two years ago, I really, something happened that really sparked my interest in women. Oh, do you I heard, I heard rustling. Anyway, um, uh, that little strand. Anyway, just, <laughs> Okay, um, and so for, I don't know how long, maybe about a year, I, f I thought, thought, pushed away, and struggled with the idea of being bisexual, because it was clear I liked men, but I had this underlying attraction to women. I, you know, I started finding women, I started being attracted to women in a way that I knew deep down in my heart wasn't, wasn't normal for a straight person. You know, and the older I get, the more I, the, the more I really know that I'm bi. And, um, so yeah, it, it it I still struggle with it sometimes because I grew up Lutheran, and they ingrained into your head anything but straight you go to hell. If you're anything, if your sexual orientation is anything but straight, you go to hell. It's a choice. It's not. I fought with this idea. I didn't want it to be. Mainly because of where I went to school, I didn't want it to be true. I didn't. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought about it, the more I realized this is who I am. I can't change this. I can't fight this. And eventually I just learned to accept it. This is who I am. Clearly God made me this way. You know, I'm not going to get super religious because I know not everyone is. But, you know, I, but I still just sometimes I get I, I'm alone with my thoughts scary thing and I start thinking about God and who I am and how that's wrong sorry that probably sounded bad on camera um and it, it got me it gets me down and then I recently made a post about it to my for my Facebook and I got so much I got really good words of wisdom from a friend of mine that really settled my mind and from my family as well just I got words that really calmed my mind and I'm okay with it now the reason I didn't come out like from the start at the time I had a crush on this boy like hardcore crush <coughs> oh sorry I'm getting over a cold and he was extremely homophobic. And I remember that broke my heart. And then I started going to this new school. And I met a new guy that I am currently dating. And I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. And he pushed the thoughts of that other guy out of my head. And once we started dating, I realized I could have never been with him. Because of how homophobic he was and how LGBT supportive I am I go to this GSA club every week and like I am so pro pro gay I guess you could say that we could have never been together and so that's at the time that's why I hit it because I didn't want him watching the video me coming out and him losing his mind and not liking me but now that I have my boyfriend now 
I don't worry about it as much. It doesn't bother me anymore. Because I have a supportive boyfriend, and a supportive friend, and it gave me the strength to come out to you guys. And this feels really good. You know. I, I've, like, from the start, I've wanted to be really open. But with my friend that I used to have a crush on, I, my fears stopped me. But I'm done being afraid, and I'm ready to be out. So, yeah, I'm by. I am part of what makes the bee an LGBT. And this feels good. Um. Yeah. And I guess if you have a problem with it, bye bye. I don't know. I guess I said what I needed to say, and there's really no point in continuing this video, is there? I I do like I know they'll never ever see this, but I also I have YouTubers to thank. YouTuber like Joey, um, and all these different Joey, Hannah, Tyler, uh, Pink Stylist. I have all these YouTubers to thank for helping me become comfortable in my own skin. That was a struggle because you can be for me gay all you want. Like, you can totally be supportive of gay people all you want, but then when the tides turn and you feel you could be, when you thought you were straight, it's kind of scary. When you start thinking and toying with ideas that you never toyed with before, it's like a realm you never dived into before, and now you're dunked head first, it's scary. It's a really hard thing to come to, term with, come to terms with. But I'm glad I did. So, that's all for this video. I will try and make more videos. I am really sorry. <sighs> yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember that I love you.